Good morning class. Before we start, let us pray first and lead us in prayer, Gwen. Amen. So, before we go over with our discussion for today, let us first check our attendance to see who are absent and presents for today. Okay, none. Very good. So, in the previous lesson, who can recall what we have um, learned about what is nature? Anyone? Yes, Sheila. That is right. To have you start and get motivated, we have an, an activity called collecting data from the label. So I will group you into three groups. Make in a circle position and find any plastic bottles or any materials that has label or ingredients in its back. You have three minutes. Okay, everybody settle down. Read the label or ingredients on its back. On a piece of paper, write down the main ingredients that were used to make that food or drink. Okay, has everyone had written their answers? Now try to think of the materials that were used to package the product. Write these materials on your list. So each group will present their list of ingredients and products from the past activity. Next to each material, write the resources from which it came. Has everyone had written it all down? First, I have questions. So, what resources were used to make the product? Anyone? Any of the group? That is correct. And what were what your resources were used to package them? That is correct. There are lots of products that use different kinds of packages. And where did these resources came from? Indeed, in any type of product, it came from different parts of the world. And those who have made those products have their own company or industry to make those kind of packages or um, sales to produce products. And for our next activity, give examples of products you have in yourself. Example, clothes, bags, shoes, and give other examples beside this and write it on the list on your paper. Next to each materials with the resources from which it came from. From the list of the resources, which the following are renewable. After you have listed down all these resources, all those examples that you have written, have a comparison with it. Write items that were seen indoor and outdoor that are different but came from same natural resources. Write items that were seen indoors and outdoors were similar but came from different natural resources. You may start your activity. You have three minutes to answer.
Okay. Time's up. So from all the resources or items that you have listed, which products can be replaced? Which are not? Which items are biodegradable and which are not? Which are man-made products and which comes directly from nature? Write down your answers in your paper. Okay, since you have already seen the differences and similarities of these products that you have written down, I will give you an application. So from all the natural resources, renewable, non-renewable, list in the T-chart, draw an icon picture for each of the categories. Okay, have you all done listing all the natural resources in the T-chart? Very good. So to summarize it all up, Renewable resources are those resources which can be renewed or replaced over time. And non-renewable resources are those natural resources which cannot be renewed once they are completely consumed. And renewable resources have the higher rate of decomposition than their rate of consumption. And non-renewable resources have lower rate of decomposition than the rate of consumption. To see that you have fully understand our topic and lesson for today, another activity list down in a one-fourth sheet of paper. Multiple choice. Choose only the letter of the best answer. I will only read twice the questions and the choices. Number one, resources that can be replaced. A, renewable. B, non-renewable. C, none of the above. D, both A and B. Again, resources that can be replaced. A, renewable. B, non-renewable. C, none of the above. D, both A and B. Next, resources that cannot be replaced. A, renewable. B, non-renewable. C, none of the above. D, both A and B. Again, resources that cannot be replaced. A, renewable. B, non-renewable. C, none of the above. And letter D, both A and B. Number three, which of the following are non-renewable resources? A, coal. B, animal. C, water d trees which of the following are non-renewable sources a coal b animal c water and d trees for question number four which of the following qualify as renewable resources which of the following qualify as renewable sources? A. Oxygen B. Gasoline C. Fresh water D. Fossil fuels Again, which of the following qualify as renewable resources? A. Oxygen B. Gasoline C. Fresh water D fossil fuels and for the last item which of the following can be stored for future use which of the following can be stored for future use a non-renewable resources b renewable sources c none of the above d both a and b again 
Which of the following can be stored for future use? A. Non-renewable resources B. Renewable sources C. None of the above And for letter D, both A and B Okay, you may now pass your papers. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No late papers will be accepted. Before we end this lesson, I will give you an assignment. Please read. Thank you. In this assignment, you will pass it by next week. Make sure to study the resources. Okay, thank you for your time everyone. You may now go home.